again, Joey. Tell us the Goldilocks story again. I want to play Goldilocks this time, because, because... <laughs> okay, that'll be funny. Out for a walk went Goldilocks. In the woods she saw a house. I'd like to go in and see what's there. I'll be quiet as a mouse. What did she first see? A table full of scrummy food! Yum! Porridge! One, two, three! Oh! But the first one was too cold! Ooh! And the second one was too hot! <gasps> Ouch! Oh! But the third one was just right! Mm. And she ate it all in a shot! Yummy! tell the story? <laughs> no, I just like saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Once upon a time... Three little bears went out to play. I'll build a house of straw today. Said one little bear and just like that. He built that house and then he took a nap. But a mean old wolf woke him up. Oh, no! I'm a big bad wolf and I see you in there. Open the door, little bear, beware. Oh! He pounded the door. Let me come in. Not by the hairs of my berry chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and 
and I'll blow your house in. And he did, and he laughed with the worst laugh there's ever been. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of straw. Out to play went two little bears. My house will be made of twigs, see there? Said the second little bear, and just like that, he built that house and then he took a nap. But once again, that mean old wolf woke him up. I'm a big bad wolf and I see you there. Open the door, little bear, be he pounded the door Let me come in Not by the hairs on my berry chin chin Then I'll huff, then I'll puff, then I'll blow your house in And he did, and he laughed with the worst laugh there's ever been <laughs> We're gonna have to build something that that mean old wolf can't blow down. Just one little bear, and she had to think quick. I make my house out of sturdy bricks. Said the third little bear, and just like that, she built that house, and then she took a nap. And can you believe it? That nasty old wolf woke her up. I'm a big bad wolf, and I see you in there. Open the door, little bear, beware! No! Oh. He pounded the door! Let me come in! Not by the hairs of his very chin chin! Then I'll huff, then I'll puff, then I'll blow your house in! And he tried, and he tried, and he tried again! <gasps> Sheesh! Get a hold of yourself! <gasps> Did he blow the house in? Not by the hairs of his chinny chin chin. <laughs> the bricks were too strong. <laughs> so what happened to the mean old wolf? He was never to be seen again. Wolves are like that. <laughs> yeah, they are. <laughs> oh! <gasps> oh, Daddy. Mom, tell us the story of Jack and the Beanstalk. What's a beanstalk? Is that a kind of soup? <laughs> no, silly. It's a... I don't know. Well, let's find out. Long ago, Jack and his mom lived their life on a country farm. They were poor, not enough to eat, so they made a plan to make ends meet. Jack, go sell our cow, Bessie, and with the money we can grow more crops. On market day, Jack sold old Bess to a funny lass who was oddly dressed. Hello, young man. She politely bowed. I'll trade you beans for that milking cow. They're magic beans, oh. and they'll grow a crop as high as the sky. Wow! Jack went home to show his mom, but when she saw what he had done, she threw away the beans outside. Oh, Jack, just beans, oh my! She cried. But, but mom. The next day where the beans did land, a giant beanstalk grew. Oh man! Jack climbed those twisty vines so high, and found a castle in, in the sky. sky. Whoa! Look at that! But when he went inside the place, a big fat giant with an ugly face came thumping in so very loud. Shook the Fo fum, I smell a boy. Yum, yum, yum. Fee fi fo fum, ready or not, here I come. Jack was so frightened that he hid in the cupboard while the giant counted his gold. When the big old giant fell asleep, Jack escaped with gold to keep. Decided he'd go back up there. But first, I'd better say a prayer. Climbed up to the castle and hid inside. Aha! Uh -huh. He said, The giant's pride. Golden eggs from that little hen. The giant counted at least ten. One, two, three, 
four, five. Uh, what comes after five? Feed five, four, four. I smell a boy. Yum, yum, yum. Feed five, four, four. Ready or not, here I come. Uh, uh, oh, yikes. Uh, Jack, be nimble. Jack, be quick. Oops. <laughs> Wrong story. Jack was fast and acted quick. He grabbed that fine white little hen. Bah, bah. He then grabbed a singing horn. And climbed down that stalk again. La, la. But the giant came thundering after Jack and threw himself on the beanstalk. When I got home, I grabbed an axe and chopped that beanstalk all the way down. And that big old giant went hurtling off. Never, ever, ever to be found. With the hen's golden eggs, Jack and his mom could now live a good life. Jack's mom was proud and made a feast And neighbors came from near and far The harp played songs and sang along Jack, you are a shining star Jack, you are a star So, did they make beanstalk soup? No, but now they had a hen that laid golden eggs Oh, but... You could break your teeth on those. <laughs> <laughs> Story time, everyone. How about Little Red Riding Hood? Yeah! Okay. I want to pretend that I'm Little Red <laughs> and I'll be the big bad wolf. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure Wookie likes that idea. Everyone ready? Yeah! yeah. There once was a girl all dressed in red Who went to her grandma's sickly bed She's not feeling well, so I'll cut through the dell And visit Grand for a short little spell Now remember, don't talk to any strangers <gasps> I promise! Mama gave Red some special teas Grandma's very favorite cheese But in the woods a wolf stopped Red Well, hello, my dear, you're going where? He said Um, you're a stranger, right? I'm not really supposed to talk to you But I'm off to Grand, she's sick in bed I've brought some cheese and fresh baked bread Then Red took off, but the wolf was smart He knew the to Grand's by heart. <laughs> I'm smarter than the average wolf. <laughs> the wolf sneaked into Grandma's place. I'll hide you so there's not a trace. He locked her in, got into bed with Granny's nightcap on his head. Help me! Poor Granny cried. Why come in, dear? Why, Grand? Said Red, and she walked right in. Oh, I've been wondering how you've been. <laughs> I'm, I'm okay. But she sounded weird. Uh, Granny, since when do you have a beard? Oh. Granny has a beard. <laughs> oh. Uh oh. Hmm. Why, Granny, what big ears you have? And Granny, what big eyes you have? And Granny, what big teeth? The better, my dear, to eat you with! <laughs> no! No! Oh, no! Say that to my face! The better to eat you with! Oh! Oh! On second thought, no, no! Cried Little Red Riding Hood And a huntsman burst in from the woods He broke the door and he grabbed that beast Why, I'll give you a pow! To say the least! You're a big, bad, hairy wolf And you better stop being a bully Or you won't have any friends uh, <laughs> Well, the huntsman let poor Granny out And Little Red just blurted out I talked to a stranger Confess, Little Red I've learned my lesson now She said She learned her lesson now, she said Wow, that big bad wolf sure learned his lesson. Uh -huh. He sure did. And they sent him away and he never came back. See what happens to big bad 
bullies? Indeed. Now, what's the moral of the story? <gasps> Never let a wolf know if you have fresh baked bread and special cheese. <laughs> 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 Okay, whose turn is it to tell a story? It's my turn, and I'm going to tell the story of the lion and the mice. <laughs> Don't you mean mouse? <laughs> Not this time, because you're all going to be the little mice. Oh. A mighty, mighty lion lay sleeping in his lair. Three little mice came creeping by and stared. One accidentally brushed up against the lion's paw. Yikes! Mr. Lion? Uh, there ought to be a law! Oh, sorry, I, I hope I didn't hurt you! The lion drew his paw back and dropped it on the mouse! Ow. The other mice were frightened and squealed! You mouse! I beg you, Mr. Lion, kindly hear my plea! I promise to repay you if you'll only set me free! <laughs> oh, please! I'll be your best friend! Well, I guess I could say yes, but only just this time. Now scatter with your friends and I'll pay you no mind. Oh, thank you, Mr. Lion. I'm forever in your debt. I guess not every lion is really such a threat. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> You're swell. So the great big lion let the little mouse go. Phew, that was scary. But that wasn't the end of the story. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, do tell. <laughs> yeah, go on. <laughs> well, the lion went to hunting and wound up in a net. He paced and paced and growled and then began to fret. He roared so very loud that the three mice heard his cry. Is that your friend the lion? He's in trouble, me oh my! Hold on to your horses, I mean lions, we're coming to the rescue! Captured in the net, the lion paced and cried. Unafraid, the little mice clambered to his side. They nibbled a big hole and became the lion's guide. Well, what do you know? These little mice have now become my pride. <laughs> We're friends. <laughs> friends to the end. Nice mousey. <laughs> friends are just like family and family just like friends. I always keep my promises on that you can depend. The lesson here is friendship, Mr. Lion C. Friendship is a gift that always sets you free. So, so is this a story about lions that get trapped? <laughs> no, silly. It's about friendship and, mm -hmm. and kindness. It sure is. <laughs> it's about always being there for your friends. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Sweet. I think it's my turn to tell a story. <laughs> okay, but can we be in it? Sure! I need three Billy Goats. Archie, yeah. Luca, you in? Yeah! Tell us the story of the three Billy Goats Gruff. Gruff! Three Billy Goats Gruff set off to the hills to eat green grass and get their fill. They ate sweet grass all day long. They ate and ate till it was gone. Oh, look at that! Oh, fresh green grass. <laughs> Across the river, the little goat spied a field of grass on the other side. Cross the bridge and you pay a toll. Not with coins, you feed the troll. Oh, oh my! The three billy goats gruff were very scared of the troll. But they were also very hungry. Little billy goat gruff just couldn't wait any longer. <laughs> so off he went. I may be scared, but I'm hungry too. As the billy goat trip trapped by, the troll popped up from under the bridge and said, Who's not trip trapping across my bridge? You won't get by me because I am going to eat you! <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm a hairy troll with yellow eyes, horrid teeth and claws. I'll eat you up if you cross my bridge with my rotten jaws. It's only me, a baby goat. I'm skinny as can be. I really wouldn't taste that good, but middle goat would, you see? Yeah. And he'll be coming along next. Very well. Ah, beat it, kid. <laughs> Tasty chap, I'm a hairy troll with yellow eyes, horrid teeth and claws. I'll eat you if you cross my bridge just because. Who's that trip trapping across my bridge? Just me, old troll. I'm off to eat that uh, sweet green grass. Said the middle goat of the three. Oh, no, you're not. Said the troll. I'll eat you with my tea. But I'm on my skin and bones, you see. No fat on me at all. You'd really like my brother, see? He's a butterball! Oh, oh, okay. Go. I wait for big brother. <laughs> so the troll let the middle billy goat gruff cross the bridge and waited for his tasty big brother. <gasps> this is not good. So over the bridge the billy goat tramped, tramp, tramp on the wood. Who's that tramping on my bridge? It's Big Billy Goat, you hairy monster! Hey, that doesn't even rhyme! I'm a hairy troll with yellow eyes, horrid teeth and claws! I'll eat you up if you cross my bridge! How about some applause? <gasps> Be very hungry! <laughs> I'm on my way to eat green grass nah. and join my brothers too! I dare you, goat, to cross my path! My horns will charge you! And with that, the big billy goat charged the troll with his big pointy horns and sent him tumbling backwards over the bridge, never to be seen again. So now I'll see my brothers too and we'll eat until we're fat. We tricked that troll with a plan, you see. What do you think of that? <laughs> what do you think? Let's tell the story of the boy and the wolf and the sheep. Oh, the little boy who cried wolf. Why would he cry wolf? <laughs> because he didn't know how to say wah. <laughs> Joey, <laughs> why don't you pretend to be the shepherd boy and tell us all about it? <laughs> sure. I'm a shepherd boy who tends his sheep. I try hard not to fall asleep. Because sometimes it can get real slow watching all this green grass grow. <laughs> hey, I have an idea. <laughs> I think I'll play a little joke on all the local towny folks. I'll pretend a wolf came by, chased my sheep, and made them cry. <laughs> um, help! Yeah, yeah, help! Help me, help me, a wolf appeared. It chased me. The villagers came out to see The boy and sheep were quite carefree The boy just laughed <laughs> I was kidding, guys! But this was not a fun surprise Shame on you for making us all worry We thought you and your flock were in trouble Oh, it was just a joke Can't you take a joke? <laughs> The next day passed and night dragged on The boy made a plan in early dawn <laughs> I'll do it all again today So I'm not bored And he laughed away <laughs> <laughs> Help me, help me, a wolf appeared It chased my sheep We're all afeard <gasps> Oh dear, sounds like trouble so once again villagers climbed the hill to see the sheep were fine. The boy laughed. <laughs> I was kidding, guys. I think you better apologize. Yeah. 
say you're sorry. You tricked us again. That's just not nice. You lied to us. <laughs> it was just a joke. The villagers were not happy, but the shepherd boy thought it was funny that he once again tricked the townspeople. <laughs> you bet. One fine day while with his flock, a wolf appeared. The boy was shocked. He cried out to the village folks. Help me, please. This is not a joke. Oh, la -di -da. Would you like another cup of tea? Don't mind if I do. But no one paid attention then. Thought it was a joke again. They ignored the shepherd's plea. Just relaxed and drank their tea. Hey, this is not funny. Help me, help me, a wolf appeared. It's chased my sheep. We're all afeared. But sadly, no one came. The shepherd boy realized that no one believed him anymore. The boy came running into town. Everybody gathered round. He's the one who made us mad. I'm sorry I behaved so bad. I really am. I've learned my lesson and I'll never lie again. Woo! Here is crazy and mad. That means you 
by the riverside. She shook her head, looked at the stream. I just had the strangest dream. Was that all just a dream? Both lived happy. 
happily ever after. Happily ever after. Jack and the Beanstalk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The end. Yay! <laughs> hey, do you guys know the story of Little Red Riding Hood? Sure we do. And it's my favorite. Once upon a time in the woods, there lived a little girl, Red Riding Hood. Had to visit Grandma, sick in bed. So off she went with a basket of bread. Off I go, adventure time. Stick to the to Grandma's house on the other side of the woods. Wolfie arrived at Grandma's house, crept through the door like a little mouse. Grandma saw the wolf, then she screamed, oh! and ran into the closet so she couldn't be seen. I will wait just right here. A clever wolf I am to pretend that I am dear grandma sick in bed. <laughs> I hope Red Riding Hood gets here fast and rescues me. This wolf is bad. Just then, Red Riding Hood arrived at grandma's house. She opened the door and walked right up to her grandma's bed. Grandma, I am here, poor thing in bed. I brought you some yummy bread. Thank you, dear. I'm feeling sick. Come a little closer. Take a look. Grandma, you don't seem yourself. What can I do to help? I must have a nasty bug. Climb on the bed and give me a hug. Grandma, what big eyes you have. Big eyes to see you. Grandma, what big ears you have. Big ears to hear you. Grandma, what big teeth you have. Big teeth to eat you. <laughs> Poor little Red Riding Hood. Thankfully, a lumberjack was passing by and heard her cry. He broke down the door and came inside. What's going on? Are you okay? I heard you scream from far away. Hey, big bad wolf, get out of here. And don't you come. Mark. 
Didn't you ever hear the story about the boy who cried wolf? No? Tell me! The boy, the boy, the boy who cried wolf, the boy, the boy, the boy who cried wolf. There was a boy who watched the sheep. He'd watch him walk and watch him sleep. He was so bored he made a plan. I need to find some action, man. Think 
you can help me. <laughs> You're a silly, silly, tiny little mouse. Okay, I'll set you free. Somebody help me! The lion and the mouse. The lion and the mouse. The mouse heard a lion's roar and knew just what to do. She called her friends. They ran to the lion, grabbed the rope, and start to chew. Never have laughed at you at all. Don't worry, we understand. Let's just be friends. Are we cool, my man? The lion and the mouse. The lion and the mouse. The lion and the mouse. Yeah, the lion. Lived in the brick. 
sleeping lion. Angrily, he grabbed that mouse. She was scared and crying. She said, if you let me go, I'll help you someday soon, you'll see. When you need me, I'll be there. You'll count on me. The lion and the mouse, the lion and the mouse. This is the story of the lion and the mouse. Lion and the mouse, the lion and the mouse. This is the story of the lion and the mouse. Lion said, you tiny thing. What can you do for me? Tell you what, you made me laugh, so I will set you free. Thank you! Next day, Lion stalked his prey, but on his way back home, he walked into a trap, he was captured and... wrong to laugh because you're small. If it weren't for you, I would not be here at all. The lion and the mouse, the lion and the mouse, best friends forever, the lion and the mouse. The lion and the mouse, the lion and the mouse, best friends forever, the lion and the mouse. Huggy and Buggy to tidy their room before going out to play. <laughs> Those kids. Do you know where they are? I think I saw them in the backyard. I'll go find them, Jen. Wow, it's so cool to look at all the little insects. Yeah, the ants are my favorite. My favorite is the grasshopper. <laughs> that reminds me of a story. And I think this might be a good time to tell it to you. The ants go plowing in the field. Hi ho, hi ho. The ants go plowing in the field. Hi ho, hi ho. The ants go plowing in the field. The grasshoppers do cartwheels. And all they do is play while the ants work all day. Digging in the sun. I ho, I ho. The ants go digging in the sun. I ho, I ho. The ants go digging in the sun. The grasshoppers dance for fun. And all they do is play while the ants work all day. Oh, 
The grasshoppers are cold and sad. Oh no! Oh no! The grasshoppers are cold and sad. Oh no! Oh no! They never helped, they wished they had. And now they feel really bad. All they did was play while the ants worked all day. The ants invite them to come in. Hi ho! Hi ho! The ants invite them to come in. Hi ho! Hi ho! The grasshopper said with a grin, We'll never shirk our work again. And the ants all shout, Hooray! 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 <laughs> Save the day. They 